Is it that time again? Why, yes it is. I do have a brand new Bob Dylan song. Just came out this week. Tomorrow is a long time. It is a deep cut. One of my favorites. One of his early romantic songs. And of course, I must it all up. Any Bob Dylan song that I do, I'm not gonna do it like Bob Dylan because he did them. There is a version that was a big influence on me by a folk duo from the 1960s called Bud and Travis. They, they were on some talk show and they did a version of it. Mwah. Two part harmony, very easy to please me, very much in my taste. And I was not influenced that much by Bob Dylan's version at all. I added some chords to it, I made the third verse a bridge by adding this minor modulation thing. Super geeky stuff, but it's fun. About half of these songs have been with uh, collaborators here in Olympia, Washington. My fellow musicians have been so generous and so kind in helping me out, but for the life of me, I could not find a piano player. I mean, I asked a few people if they contributed and they weren't able to, which is fine. Very much just the type of person I am. I was like, I guess I gotta learn piano now. I mean, I've been playing piano as long as I've been playing music. There's always been pianos around, been trinkling around. I know the chords. I know somewhat how to do two hands at once. I can play piano, but this is the first song that I have ever put out that I have actually like played piano so intentionally and uh, crafted parts um, and required to have skill rather than just like doing one side and then recording the other side. And then I bought this new piano. It's a digital piano, the Casio Privia PS7000. Look at it, isn't it so pretty? Harmonious mustard. Mm. It seems it was designed just for hipsters like me to get a, uh, you, you got me Casio. And I've taken this opportunity to sit down with a lesson book and actually practicing piano. And, and I think I'm just gonna become a lifelong piano player just simply because of this song that I needed someone else to play on.